Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the session on Karnataka building for the post COVID economy. It's my honor and privilege to introduce Sri B.S. Ethiopia, Honorable Chief Minister, Karnataka. Sri B.S. Ethiopia is serving as the Chief Minister of Karnataka for the fourth time and is an eight time MLA from Shikaripura constituency in Shimoga district. He can connect with the farmer, the IT professional, the scientist, the engineer, the banker, the student, the migrant construction worker, all representing the diverse population of Karnataka. Sri Ethiopia has been serving the people of Karnataka for the past 50 years. He joined politics way back in 1970 during his college days. Currently, Sri Yadurupa is leading from the front during this COVID-19 crisis. As of uh, today, Karnataka had 9,150 confirmed COVID cases, 138 deaths, and 5,618 5, recovered. This is the lowest amongst the major states. Bangalore has the lowest number of infections and deaths among all metros in India. This result is due to the way in which the CM has mobilized all the stakeholders, industry, academia, civil society, bureaucracy, and general public to work together in order to keep the citizens of Karnataka safe. This is the secret behind the progress the state has achieved in various spheres. Of course, everyone knows that Karnataka is number one in IT services, R&D and innovation, startup activity, and in biotechnology. Do you know that about 350 of the Fortune 500 companies in the world have set up their R&D and innovation and IT department development facilities in Karnataka? Do you know that Karnataka is the base to two of the largest hospital chains in the country, Manipal Group and Narayana Health? Do you know that Karnataka is the base of the largest privately run midday meal program in the country, the Akshay Patra program? Do you know that the largest social experiment in rural entrepreneurship is happening in Hubli Darwar, the Deshpande Foundation? run sandbox and this is uh, why Karnataka is doing so well so it's my privilege and honor to introduce and request Sri B.S. Yadirapa ji Chief Minister of Karnataka to address you now over to you sir Sri Chris Gopal Krishnan Chairman of the Axilar Ventures India Sri Ramesh, Director, CIA, heads and senior executives of the companies who are participating in this meeting, senior officer of the government of Karnataka, and the organizers. Sir, dear friends, it is my pleasure to be speaking to you Sir, today. Uh, I wish we could have met in person, but we are living in very different times. I and my government are very much aware of how badly the coronavirus pandemic has hit people and the economy. The virus has thrown new challenges at us and pushed us to change and look for new ways to address problems. My government took quick steps to stop the spread of the virus before other states and it is with pride that I share. Uh, that sir, we are in your the microphone is probably on mute, sir. You can't hear you? You hear me?
the citizen for their support in maintaining this difficult challenge. Without them, we would not have been able to fight this battle against the virus. We are all are together in this. And let me assure you that in this once in a century event to shall pause, we have to now fully restart economic activities. Karnataka is one of the first state to lift the lockdown and restart the economy gradually. Everything except schools, recreational facilities, metro rail and international air travel are open. I am happy to tell you that around 80% of our industries are operating at more than 60% capacity and this has been improving steadily. Karnataka is at the forefront of attracting FDA investments in the country and we will set the benchmark as we progress post-COVID-19. Our state has stopped in the recent Niti Aayog Innovation Index. This has been possible due to availability of quality human resources and a focus on research and development supported by a proactive administration. All this makes for conducive investment climate. by offering single window clearance simplified process and a stable policy environment with regular consultation with industry. For the last few weeks, labor laws have been simplified. These measures were long overdue to attract investment to the state. We also brought in critical labor reforms such as Flexi working hours, nighttime working hours for women, overtime wage revision, etc., and more are on their way. We have also formed subsectoral groups for each industry and are holding review meetings to address and resolve their issues. My government also has also constituted a special investment. Promotion Task Force under the Chairmanship Force working towards identifying and attracting new investments into the state. As the manufacturing sector employs a large number of people and will require land to set up operations, we are making more than 8,000 acres of land available. Can you hear me now? About 60% of this land bank. Can you hear me now? 12,000 acres is advanced stages of a centric approach. Our government is working to launch the new industrial policy 2019-2024 to build a prosperous Karnataka and create large scale employment opportunities. Ecosystem. Our government has recently passed the landmark legislation named Karnataka Innovation Regulatory Sandboxes. Our state is blessed with the presence of a lot of you, and I am happy you have prospered here while helping Karnataka grow and become one of the best states to live and work in India. To those among you who are not at Karnataka, I say, please, speak with your friends here and then come and meet us. We would like to meet you and work with you to make your business do better. My government is here to work with you and for you, for your prosperity and Karnataka's development. Thank you for giving me the opportunity 
to share my thoughts my government and i look forward to working with you and welcome you with you over beautiful state sir uh, can you hear me now uh let me ask you a question karnataka has managed this crisis better than other large states now how can we ensure that we open up the economy safely such that we can balance life and livelihood sir karnataka has effectively used the strategy of testing contact tracing and quarantining so as to contain the spread of virus as we open the economy i have asked the citizen to follow the protocol of using sanitizers and follow social distancing we have also issued standard operating pr- procedures for work places so that lives and livelihood can be balanced sir uh during the crisis we witnessed the hardship experienced by migrant workers how do you think we should manage migrant labor in the future karnataka has been very sympathetic to the migrant labor taken care of them and when they wanted to leave we have facilitated their movement however karnataka is also received a lot of migrant population from maharashtra and other states while we are putting them into quarantine we are also taking up skill mapping so as to use their talents yeah like that sir uh, looks like there is some audio problem so uh, thank you very much for uh, um, taking time to address us uh, during your busy uh, day and we really appreciate this and uh, hope the audience uh, was able to um appreciate the taken by karnataka during this difficult times and i am confident that karnataka will continue to be the number one destination for investments in the future thank you all very much thank you sir